All right, what's going on, you guys? Today we're here. Want to do a brand new video for y'all? Doing a little quick unboxing from some stuff I ordered in the mail. I actually don't know what these packages are. I have no idea what they are. I'm assuming there's some games that I bought from Best Buy. We're gonna find out in just a second, right here. There's this one. That boy bought a copy of Watch Dogs. Uh, I've actually got some footage of Watch Dogs uh, that I actually want to put up online of when I had got I had uh, checked it out through GameFly. It turns out I actually like the game quite a bit. Uh, so I went ahead and bought it again. I bought this. Uh, I got this through a discount through the Best Buy. Uh, gamers reward club I did a video about that it's a pretty cool thing you might actually want to check it out uh, the video was actually about a deal they were running they're not running it anymore uh, but it's a pretty cool way if you do buy a whole lot of brand new games um, it's good for a two-year membership and uh, they'll give you a 20% discount on every single new pro every single new video game you buy it costs you hundred dollars to get it but if you're someone who spends a lot of money on these games you know every sixty dollar game gives you a twelve dollar discount um, if that's something that you'll end up spending a lot of money on over the course of the next two years it's a way to get a discount pretty well um, without going through a bunch of sales and stuff that you would do, say, on something like Amazon. Watch Dogs is a pretty cool game, so let's see what are the other ones that I got here in the mail. Alrighty, let's check it out. Ah, Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures. Now, I heard this is a really nice hearkening back to the classic, uh, the classic 3D platformers of the PS1, N64, Dreamcast, early PS2 days. Um, so I'm actually looking forward to this product a lot. It seems to be really pretty cool. Um... Even if it is really not the best platformer out there, uh, these are really, really hard to come by these days. So I was glad to see it. That's that's uh, actually something that's out there. There's actually a sequel that just came out a little bit towards the end of last year. Um, so both of those are available if you want to get them. Um, and then here is actually, ba-boom, one of my newest, most favorite games uh, that I played recently. This is Stick It to the Man. Now, it doesn't look like much, but it's actually a lot of fun. If you like a lot of those classic... Um, you know, point-and-click style PC games and stuff. This is a lot of fun. Mixes a little bit of platforming in with uh, some really minor action. Um, crossed over with a lot of that stuff you would get, especially the kind of writing and stuff you would get from those classic point-and-click PC games. Um, Stick It to Demand is actually a really cool, fun game. I like the way it's got all these crazy interwoven storylines put up in each level. has a beautiful... Uh, artistic style, everything is done through these comic book, paper, cardboard cutout styles. Really, really beautiful looking game. I would definitely recommend you pick it out. Uh, they put this out for free on PlayStation Plus a few months back. I guess this was maybe in October or November, somewhere there. I forget exactly. I'll, I'll put it here in the, in the annotation. But um, but yeah, this was this this game actually surprised me a lot. It was going to be really dumb. It's actually really, really cool. Um, and in my personal opinion, I really hope that they do more of these physical releases. I believe this company uh, is doing physical releases of, of several what are otherwise digital games. Um, so I am a collector first and foremost. So if they're going to do digital physical games that are on damn discs, digital games that are on physical discs, I am all over that. So I would highly recommend that you guys check out these products like this. Um, again, stuff like... Uh, the I forget what it is off the top of my head. The the werewolf game that's out. Um, I definitely recommend something like the uh, you know uh, the Walking Dead games. Um, you know these are games that are you know they've done it with with Minecraft successfully. So pl my recommendation is to please buy these 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 digital games when they get these physical releases because they're showing people that I mean again you vote with your wallet so they're showing people that they're actually interested in these in these physical release products and I definitely am so you know. <laughs> Even just do me a favor to do it, because it's, it's, I, I love that they do these. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I will catch y'all later, and faces. Boom. Uh, it says, yes, indeed, a uh, 60 frames per second video if you're watching 1080p or 720p, 60 frames a second on YouTube. Woohoo! Hopefully, uh, hopefully the um, Movie Maker won't have an issue out outputting it at 30 frame, at 60 frames. Probably actually can now that I think about it, but it doesn't even matter.